Hi, I'm Wes Hoover, cognitive psychologist who studies reading, and I'm pleased to be able to share with you a few thoughts about the simple view of reading. Just what is the simple view of reading? It is a perspective on the main cognitive abilities one must have in order to successfully comprehend the linguistic content contained in printed material. And the simple view holds that only two abilities are needed to read a language. One is the ability to accurately and quickly recognize the printed words of the language. And the other is the ability to understand the language that is represented in the printed text. The simple view holds that both of these abilities are necessary, neither one sufficient by itself. This means that any ability in one area cannot compensate for a lack of ability in the other. These two abilities and their relationship are captured in the expression that reading comprehension is the product of word recognition and language comprehension. This is the simple view of reading. But why is this view important in the science of reading? Its standing lies in its elegance, in its precise definitions and predictions, but most importantly, in its openness to empirical investigation. To date, more than 150 studies have been made of the simple view, looking at reading in different languages, with people of varying ages and levels of skill. And its central predictions have yet to be disproven that all good readers will be strong in both word recognition and language comprehension ability, while all poor readers will lack such strength in one, the other, or both of these abilities. Of course, important questions remain. For instance, what underlies the two main components of the abilities outlined in the simple view of reading? And what instruction works best when and for whom in advancing these. But keeping the simple view in mind as you carry out your work in reading will help you maintain a focus on those things that have been found to be most important in its mastery.